to Fish Friends. I'm here for another episode. Um, I wish every one of you could be here with me right now. It is about 65. The wind's perfect coming in out of the north. I got an incoming high tide and it's about maybe 60 degrees. It's so comfortable. This is the best weather I've had and since last winter. So wish me luck. Look at this beautiful scene right here. Natural Florida. is absolutely beautiful all right enough of this pretty boy stuff let's get fishing i don't know what i got but i got something i got something it's tugging <clears throat> hard to believe it was biting that small whatever this is oh. it's biting kind of like a red it's biting so small It's another giant stingray. This is a big one. This is one of the biggest ones I've caught out here. Man, gotta lay into that sucker. That is a big stingray, people. That's a big one. That's probably the biggest stingray I've ever caught out here. I saw him tugging on that line. I saw it to him. Saw it to my big plate there. That is a monster stingray for out here. Now just in case you don't know, I'm gonna show you. See that see that knit, big needle right there? That's the stinger. That's the stinger that'll get you. You gotta be careful. Looks like Lucky's maybe got something on it. Yellow belly. I don't know whether these end up being a hybrid. They're definitely a bluegill, but I don't know if they mix with the red breasted sunfish. I don't know how they end up with this yellow breast. A little sore there, sound like that. Just pick this one up and I got something heavy on here. It may just be like a crab trap or something. Like that. Something heavy. No, it's a fish. It's a fish. I got a fish. It's some type of fish and it's heavy. Oh my gosh. I thought the last one was the biggest thing I ever caught in here. Lord have mercy. This one's bigger. Oh my gosh, this is a big one. This is the day of the rays. Look at the size of that sucker. That's the ones when they have those two prongs on the side. I don't know if it's a male or, or it's a different kind. See the... Shit. I've got a stingray on one. I threw this one out before I could tighten up. I was at a bite and that one's getting a bite at the same time. I don't know what to do. Now this is a different type of stingray or it's a different gender, but this is a monster. He's thick and you see he's got these two things here. I don't know if it's his testicles, I don't know what it is. I got another one here. I got another one here. Oh, you saw that one. Oh, you saw that one. I just pulled it off of him. Oh my God. Oh my God, little Lucky's gone. Little Lucky's gone. She got jerked over in all this commotion. <sighs> That's sad. Okay, the fish are biting now so fast that I can't stay baited. And one of my poles has done got jerked over. Which makes me very sad. I may have figured out what I'm dealing with here. Oh boy. Saltwater kittle oil. That's a little one. That's a dangerous one. Okay. Saltwater catfish. <sighs> Bigger. Okay, I just put my finger on this one and just sat here for a minute. Let's see if I could hook something and I finally hooked something. Well, finally, I was there for a minute and a half. 
got something weird. What in the... You gotta be kidding me. Huh, maybe I figured out what's been giving me the business here. A crab. Now, you don't catch a crab very often, but that's the difference between leaving it sitting there and him playing with it and me having it in my hand and as soon as it oh, just boom. You know, you're, you're taking a chance because you're setting. Uh, turn this guy into bait. Okay, so now I've got him here, but I think I got, can get him loose. All right, now he's a mean little joker here. Look at him. Look how fast it claws up, big boy. See, look at that. Claws up, big boy. Ooh, I like it. Okay, he wasn't worth dealing with. I was gonna use him for bait, but I passed, man. That guy was mean. Okay, I'm not real sure about this because it's got a lot of slack in it. It's got something on it. Finally, I saw water kitty. GoPro, start recording. Look at that ladyfish. Now I know why they've been so hard to catch. Those things will eat you out of house and home. Look where something already took a bite out of him. Oh my gosh. See if you can see that. Look where something tried to bite him. Like this, crunch. He got a half circle and the teeth raked him. And he got away, but he didn't get away from me. Isn't that crazy? Of course, something bit him. See the circle on each side? And he got, out, he got away. He got away from something. Probably slack line. Yep. I bet you I got him. I got something. I got something. I got something. Another ladyfish. Okay. This is explaining the bites. Baby tarpon. Okay, I just had one wrap it around that beam right there. And I started fighting it, and it was so big. Look what it did. Look what it did to my rig. It straightened me out. You think you won't get straightened out out here? That was like a big bull redfish or something. It was huge. I could feel it. I mean, believe me, when it pulls hard enough to do that, you had something at some point. I'm really upset right now, so i got to calm down. I think I got one here, guys. A little bit of drag. It ain't the big one I just lost, but it's something. It's something. It's something. Give me some head shakes. It's another stingray. Maybe I'm getting a little bit of my revenge here. This is my knot that I tied. <sighs> God, 
lay. I got my blood pressure up. That was a pulling sting right, right there. Another one with those two double things on it. Man, I was like, you're messing with the wrong guy now, buddy. Because I got you. On my braid, on my, my knots that I tie, and it ain't giving up. He's got double stingers. Look at that. Never seen that before. I got something and it's spinning, so what do you think it is? Oh boy. This is the most stingrays I'm gonna have to count them on, on the footage that I've ever caught in my life, and they're good size ones for here. Okay, I don't know if this is another stingray or not, but it was biting hard. Now look what we have here. Look what we have here. Freshwater catfish. And man, that's a nice one. He's all tangled up in my other line. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Look at that porker. Look at that porker. Oh, finally caught a fish. An eating fish. Oh man, that felt good. All right, I was over there trying to catch a little Lucky. I got a, a lure hooked up over there with a the weight. I'm trying to drag, I'm trying to find little Lucky out there. I'm afraid she's gone for good. Now, do I keep him and eat him or do I let him go? Then we'll let him go. It's a good solid two pound kitty. Oh, finally got one. Hello, fish friends. I uh, hope you enjoyed that one. That was definitely some serious action. Um, that's definitely my stingray record. Uh, two things. Gotta try and make sure my poles are secured better. We lost a member of the family, little Lucky. Lucky no more, it's gone. You got turned around and was getting bites, gone. I normally take the line and I put it in between the boards. And that way if it, I hear it slide, it slides over and it'll stop, it can't go. But that fish must have took off that way and drug it out. It is gone, little Lucky's thing of the past. Uh, the a second thing is that I learned, you can't trust those Walmart rigs so you, you don't know what you're gonna run into out there. I had that one on the Walter special and it was pulling so hard Drag was too tight, I guess, and it just took off the other direction and it just straightened that thing. That it, you think that little clip is enough to hold it? It's not when it's a monster. So a big one got away, and I um, think I may have learned my lesson. You go down there, you, I know you need the poles. I'm finally, I bulked up enough on the 20 pound you know, river poles, and I don't have the tackle. So a little disappointed on that, but I had a great time. They caught a bunch of fish, so uh, ended up having to go to the fish house, and, Orange Park fish house, and grab me some lunch right before four because I was starving and I didn't want to clean that freshwater catfish there at the end. So, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, keep fishing.